everybody. Welcome to the 2020 Vision Trends Report, coming to you live from Los Angeles. I'm Jeffrey Colon, head of the Microsoft Advertising Brand Studio, and I'll be your host as we take a look inside a trends deck we put together at the Brand Studio at the end of last year. And joining me is my Microsoft colleague and co-author of the report, Aya Kikamova. Hey, Aya. It's great to have you here in the city of the future, L.A. Hey, Jeff. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So before we dive ahead into the future, let's take a look at the, the past, the past decade and the five verticals that we looked at. What are those five verticals? So the five verticals we looked at are culture, marketing, media, technology, and economics. And we are just going to talk about the two of them just to give a quick recap. So why don't we start with culture? We are all media. So Jeff, what do you think? Uh, what was going on in that particular trend? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, what was happening is we all were living in public. A lot of us were starting YouTube channels. We wanted to be Insta famous. Uh, we were even at the end of the decade becoming popular via TikTok. I think, uh, you know, that's a trend definitely spilling over into the 2020s that may influence how we actually, you know, behave and react uh, as a response. I know you are trying to become LinkedIn famous. I was trying to become LinkedIn famous a little bit. That is true in some that's respects. Great. You know, what's uh, now another one, and we look at uh, media, two microphones and a Wi-Fi connection. That sort of ties into We Are Public. All of this technology is a lot cheaper, like what we're doing here. Is that, has that led to that trend in the 2010s that allowed all of us to become famous in some respects? Absolutely. This totally relates. And to me, this is more about the podcast. Anybody that I knew had their own podcast. Oh and I was, I was like, how are you making money off of podcasts? And they were like, it's not about that. It's just creating my own content. But I thought that was a great trend. And I you know, podcasting just blew out of the water and became such a huge trend. But beyond that in media, I mean, Wi-Fi just empowered everybody to to become their own brand. And I feel like the podcasting was a he was a huge part of it. Yeah. What do you think? It definitely was a huge part of it. And it's gonna be interesting to see when we look at the twenty tens or sorry, when we look at the twenty twenties, the next decade, what five G may do to this area because it might make the sort of Wi Fi look antiquated, you know. Uh, by design. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Looking forward. All right. So you're ready to go over and you know, I, are you ready to put your futurist cap on as we dive into the next decade? Absolutely. My futurist cap is already on. All right. Same here. My futurist headphones. All right. Over the next hour or so, we're going to dive into five trends from our report and speak to some of the top experts in the marketing world about what all this means for your media planning and strategy, what behaviors, what technology, and what trends can help you navigate your creative output for your brand. we got a lot to dig into, and let's get started with trend number one. For culture, we have identified private social trust as our trend. Culture is a huge barometer of how companies plan and perform. If you choose companies based on their commitment to the social good, should those companies be forthright about how they use their data? During this next decade, we think consumers will increasingly subscribe to the betterness manifesto and brands will need to shift directions to win them over. For example, brands who support sustainability and produce climate friendly products will prevail. All of this is leading to a movement of private social trust. So on this, Aya, on this trend of private social trust, let's talk a little bit about the Betterment Manifesto. What should our viewers know about this so they have a better understanding of it? Our viewers likely are practicing Betterment Manifesto. It's basically your manifesto to become better, a better human being, socially responsible person. And with that, it's all about the environment, how you are relating to others, et cetera. But what I would really like to go into is what Microsoft recently announced. And Microsoft recently pledged that by 2030, we will uh, become carbon neutral. And beyond that, we will continue to doing this work until we have removed all of the carbon footprint that we have uh, placed into onto this planet since 1975. And that is actually 
quite remarkable and leading cutting edge within the industry because the rest of the world, so 87 companies that are worth over $2.3 trillion have committed to do the same, but by 2050. And Amazon has committed to do carbon neutrality by 2040. So Microsoft is way ahead of the game. And in that sense, I feel there is a huge commitment there, and that's uh, one of the examples of the Betterment Manifesto so wait, being you're manifested. Saying, you're saying carbon neutral. Wait, isn't it? I read it was carbon negative. That means so it goes back to you saying it wants to take. You want to take all the carbon out of the ecosystem, not just be neutral in that in right. that respect. Right. So neutral by 2030 and then continuing to until they have removed everything that was put out there since 1975. So they're negating basically everything that they put out into the Exactly. So when it comes to the Betterment Manifesto, do you think that the move that Microsoft made with wanting to go carbon negative plays to also the advantage of there being more transparent So they're basically explaining to to customers and partners where things are headed in terms of it's not just about, hey, how much revenue we're making, but a commitment to sort of the social good. How, How big of an area is this now for customers? It is a huge focus for customers, I believe. Um, But to your point, I I do not think it's about transparency. I do think it's about building trust and building your brand and and taking a stand for something that is important, especially in in this world where um, climate change is being questioned uh, by many political parties, but at the same time, it is an important topic. So Microsoft is definitely taking a stand there and going above and beyond the, the industry standard not just carbon neutral, as you mentioned, but also carbon negative. So culture, this trend, the big important word here is trust. That's what we should be focusing on for this next decade. Absolutely. Using our research uh, from the survey that we did, trust is a number one factor in choosing a brand for consumers. Yeah, very interesting. Great thing to look at. Culture, private social trust. 